Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Clickety clack, time is back. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Luscious Massacre. No, I'm just kidding. We're not going to be talking about Luscious. Today's video, we're going to be talking about Ethan Klein, the downfall of Ethan Klein, and how the people that he surrounds him on his podcast are causing his downfall. Let's get to it. Today, we have no sponsors because. Uh... Uh, I am an existential threat to uh, gay rights and all progress. So, of course, our wonderful uh, fans have taken it upon themselves to write all of our sponsors and um, to have them uh, not sponsor or not to uh, support us. I'll just say this. I'm very thankful to our members because it makes this show kind of uh, bulletproof to stuff like this. It's just painful that, you know, people would do that. <sighs> there it is. And, you know, the other thing is, like, you, 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 like, you expect a little more of the sponsors in a way, but I get it. There is, you know, it's just transactional for them. But, you know, I feel like I, I put so much into the good, our, our good partners, and it's kind of crazy when they just drop you like a bag of dirt. There you have it. So I don't know what to say. You know, I, I take the I take the criticism seriously, but sometimes it's 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 painful to see people say really mean things about you, like that you're homophobic or racist or whatever. When it's like, I just I don't see it. I don't. But I think some people are very sensitive about these issues, which is fine. But I don't think you should subject yourself to to having to experience so much all the time. pain yeah. on a day, on a weekly basis. Like you're suffering through this show. <laughs> I love comments and posts. They're like. Listen, let me start by saying I love Ethan. And then it just goes That off. being said, that I'm said, I wanna fucking fuck up. sick of him. I want to fuck up his night. <laughs> yeah. Potentially his weekend with peace and love. Pants for Ethan. Thank you. We love our pansexual audience. We love them. The bisexual. We love them, folks. <laughs> Clap if you think they should suffer, somebody said. Well, they clearly want to suffer because they're watching this podcast yeah, every week. We don't want them to suffer. That's why they need to just... That's why you need to stop politely watching. Politely go away. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, so apparently, Ethan Klein has been losing subscribers on his channel, which is not good. You never want to lose a subscriber, and you never want to lose um, sponsorships either, which is the case. Sponsorships is how he's been keeping his channel running and how he's been feeding and providing for his family and paying his staff and blah da blah da blah da all that good stuff now uh apparently the reason he's losing sponsors is because his fans or ex-fans have been going to these sponsors and making complaints i feel like that going to someone's sponsor and trying to take away their income is not how People should go about doing things, especially when it comes to someone's livelihood. You're taking away his, his income, his financial means of living, and he could be on the verge of losing everything, and the trolls, they don't care. They, they just don't care. I, I feel like some of the things he said were insensitive. Most of the things he said were insensitive. I feel like that he's apologized for it and wants to move on from it, but... Some people have a hard time letting go, especially those people who are online trolls and just can't get past situations, or they want to see someone being canceled, because cancel culture, believe it or not, still exists, somehow or another, it's still around, and people live for it. He is being very unsensitive, or insensitive, unsensitive, which insensitive, and, I mean, you guys saw it, I mean, I'll show you the clip here. I think that one of Ethan Klein's biggest downfalls on the H3H3 podcast is the fact that he has this guy named Dan on the show that is constantly putting his two cents in where it doesn't belong. Just so over these fucking people. Shut the fuck up! Shut up! Apologies to whatever his name was. Uh, apparently I was homophobic to him. But uh, whatever, what can you do? People say it was gross and disappointing. Saying you can guess if Matt is a power bottom by his voice is so gross. But I was right. That was the point. Wasn't I? He admitted. Yeah, of course you were right. And honestly, just so over these fucking people. Shut the fuck up. Shut up! 
and it's fun. It's a fucking entertaining show. Shut the fuck up. Someone says, I don't know what's up. So with disappointing. Someone said, I Grow up. Know. Jesus I, fucking Christ. Dan, Dan. I don't know what's up with Ethan today, but something's off. Bad vibes this episode. Shut the fuck up. The Unsubscribe. Go away. Jesus Christ. Someone said, it sometimes feels like Ethan thinks LGBTQ plus people are exotic or something. It's super uncomfy. Yeah, I think y'all need to fucking... Do you think it's hard for a straight person to understand how it feels to always have people define you by how you prefer sex? Is that a valid criticism? No, I'm so fucking frustrated with these people. Get the fuck out! So wait, what was I... Where did I even... Do you think some of y'all are way too fucking sensitive no. for the show? To be Just to be totally honest, like people in this thread who are saying they're grossed out and whatever, I think you're really... I think this with peace and love, you might be too sensitive to watch this show. If you're watching this show and you're perpetually offended by things I'm saying, you may want to just stop watching, like genuinely. Like, it is does get annoying with some of y'all getting offended. All he sits there and he tells people to unsubscribe to the channel. First and foremost, it is not his channel, it is Ethan's channel. So what gives you the right, Dan, to tell people to unsubscribe from his channel. He literally lost 10,000 plus subscribers in that one day, which is just, I find just crazy. Ethan needs to fire Dan and replace him with someone else. Hell, maybe he should replace him with a female, a comedian female. Kathy Griffin's open for a position. Here's another thing. I feel like some people overjudge Ethan. I know that some of his commentary can be a little harsh, but I feel like people go in too hard on him sometimes as well. Such as when he makes a joke about something that's not that serious, but people take it, they twist it, they add their own words to it, and then make it seem like it came from Ethan completely in a way that it wasn't meant to be shown. I mean, life is like that sometimes. People do that. If I'm being honest, maybe he should bring Trisha back. Maybe he should beg Trisha to come back and save his channel because at this point, as at this point as far as him losing fans and losing subscribers and, and losing sponsorships he really needs Trisha back on his side Trisha could be his saving grace when it comes to his channel because think about it she's pregnant right now she's not doing anything else she's turned her fam her channel into a family channel uh, going back to the h3 h3 podcasting and going back to frenemies that would be probably be the best thing for her right now and for him also. I mean, they're both in a really bad situation. She can't really make content like she usually does because she's pregnant. With Trisha Paytas possibly rekindling her friendship with Ethan Klein, this could be a good way to get sponsorships back, make money, and make amends with each other and have a show that is worth watching have a show that is great content and just continue like the old ways minus the arguing of course because you know i'm pretty sure they've had uh, enough of that psychic predictions like is it real now no 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 not yet oh that's it no 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 oh is that the real one? Oh, that's it you know you want I mean? me to manifest something good for you yes okay um, you are going to flourish so hard and so you're hard. gonna be on one punch man I'm going to be on an animated yeah. an Japanese anime. Yeah, you're going to be a character on there for you. That's what I'm manifesting for you. Whoa. Sick. Yeah. That is literally impossible. I found that out about you this weekend <laughs> that you love One Punch Man, and I was like, I'm going to get you on that. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for the manifestation. I'm so excited for you. If that happens, <laughs> if I get up on the Japanese manga slash anime, yeah. then I will believe in manifestation. Really? I, I got it. I got those powers like okay, that. Thank hard. I manifested someone's house. Like, can you manifest me that I get this house that I put an offer for and I got it for them? Yeah, but like, do you see they already put in the offer? So it was like already pretty likely to happen. No necessarily i just gave him extra powers some well, might call it prayer prayer joel Osteen. i might have to go pee is that okay yeah only if you don't care about my story so okay but i have to go go ahead I'm are we like we can go it's not go like, ahead. are we'll you gonna cut. continue when i'm here or you're cutting yeah we'll cut it so now that princess trisha has peed in the middle of my you also peed I'm kidding you took a pee break i'm kidding could trisha paytas be ethan klein's comeback only time will tell. Guys, what do you think? Leave a comment below and let me know what you think about Trisha 
possibly going back and them recreating the Frenemies podcast situation. I think it's good business, honestly. With her being pregnant right now and not being able to do anything uh, too physical and stuff and being emotional, why not go back to Frenemies and, and rekindle the good chemistry that they had before? Well, that's it for today, guys. Um, until next time, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you share it with your friends. Give me a little sub. Give me a little like. So, um, yeah. Until next time, guys. Clickety-clack. Time is back. Goodbye.